Hi guys, welcome back to the Hugh Jeffries video and in this video I'm going to be replacing the so-called irreplaceable iPhone 7 and 8 home button. For those unaware, the iPhone 7 and 8 home buttons are touch sensitive buttons which if damaged and were to be replaced will no longer work given the button is paired to each iPhone serial number. With Apple being the only ones with the equipment to pair a new home button, they can charge what they like for the repair. Apple doesn't even offer a separate home button replacement repair, rather telling customers the whole display needs to be replaced to increase costs further. Luckily, China has our back and has a solution which I'm going to be testing out in this video. This is commonly referred to as the JC home button or Bluetooth home button for the iPhone 7. Basically, it acts as a physical button like the previous generation iPhone home buttons, but connects via Bluetooth. Firstly, I'll need to open up the device taking off the display, which I will be replacing as well. I did notice the phone had indications of water damage and there's actually a little bit damp inside, so that's never a good sign, but this isn't my iPhone. It's actually just uh, a device I'm repairing for someone, but I thought I'd make this video to show you guys how to install one of these JC home buttons. Now I'll need to start to remove all of the components uh, that will be necessary on the new display and then I can move down to the home button which I can remove to show you uh, the differences between the old home button right here which is the factory one. Now this didn't have working uh, home button or fingerprint reading capabilities and we're going to be comparing that to the JC home button or the Bluetooth home button whatever you want to call it and you can see they look identical until you flip them over and you can see that the new home button actually has a different array of chips as well as one less cable than the original one. But either way, it looks pretty similar, although the replacement button has an actual physical clicking mechanism. I ordered up a new display. This is a refurbished Apple panel. And luckily enough, it actually came with the metal backing plate already installed on the new display. So I didn't have to transfer that across from the old one. But now that that's ready to go, I can install the new home button and sure enough, it's clicking correctly, so it's time to reinstall the camera assembly and front-facing flex cable. Clipping everything back down, installing the earpiece and screwing its two screws in before I can put on the main bracket, which will hold in place the front-facing camera. Removing the bit of tape and giving it a clean up, the display has been prepped for the iPhone. Now the new home button itself actually requires a small modification to the logic board which can be done with one of these little flex cables. Um, now they're available in a pack of four like this. It comes with the home button uh, and they actually are different for the iPhone 7, 7 Plus, 8 and 8 Plus. So using the correct one and installing its appropriate spacer, which is just a piece of foam, will allow it to connect properly to the iPhone logic board and jump across two pins, which will provide power to the new home button. With that done, I can install the new waterproofing seal after giving the frame a bit of a cleanup. And this was previously missing from the last display replacement this phone had. Now I should also note the screen that was actually installed on this was a test screen as the screen that uh, was actually on the phone when it was given to me to repair was 100% dead and I just want to show you guys that the home button wasn't functioning. Either way though I can remove that plastic film for the waterproofing seal and installing the new display we can actually power up the iPhone 7 to test out that home button. Now at this point I didn't have the password to the iPhone so instead I paired the home button that we just put in the iPhone 7 to another iPhone which is actually an iPhone 8 and I could test it out that way and you can see that it acts just like a normal home button and I'm able to access the app switcher, Siri or just navigate around and get out of apps using the home button. Now that I know everything is working, I can install the last bracket, which was for the earpiece flex cable. And then I can give the phone a bit of a clean on the inside with a cloth and seal down the new display and install the two pentalobe screws into the bottom of the iPhone and remove the plastic film from the new display. And this is it, a working replacement iPhone 7 or iPhone 8 home button. Now, of course, there's a few limitations to this method. The home button needs to be paired via Bluetooth, meaning if the device is in aeroplane mode or the Bluetooth has been turned off, the home button won't work. And of course, Touch ID still isn't working, but for this cheap workaround that only cost $18, the customer is able to use her home button. But honestly, 
this shouldn't be a problem in the first place. I believe no company should be able to do something like this, but unfortunately it's used to gain profits with repair costs from the manufacturer or the cost of buying a new phone given the main button is not repairable. Now I also just found a third generation replacement iPhone 7 and 8 home button, which appears not to have the extra flex cable modification needed to the logic board. It's compatible with both the 7 and 8s and comes in a variety of colors. Now I actually installed a second generation today and I've just found this one whilst editing this video and definitely would love to check that out in the future. And on that note, this has been a Hugh Jeffries video. If you like what you saw, hit that subscribe button and consider checking out the phone restoration playlist for more videos just like this one. Also, make sure to follow me on my social media, link for which is down in the description. That's all for this video, and I'll catch you guys next time.